Will Snow White be cancelled next? Revamped ride at Disneyland sparks backlash over True Love's kiss scene, because she is asleep and not able to give the prince consent. Welcome to the Dum Dum News Channel, I'm your host Dum Dum, before we get started, Facebook is starting to censor my videos, so please make sure you subscribe on the other platforms, I recently joined Subscribestar, the link is in the description, please consider donating. This channel is dedicated to exposing the truth by sharing a side to stories that mainstream media and big tech won't show you. Help me trigger the YouTube algorithm by giving a like and sharing with someone you care about. Sources will be linked in the description, so you can read the full details yourself. Today's story is about changes to the Disney story Snow White, centered around the kiss that wakes Snow White from her sleep. The article reads, A revamped version of Disneyland's famed Snow White ride is drawing backlash for portraying the true love's kiss scene, which critics say undermines lessons about consent by portraying the prince kissing Snow White while she is asleep. The theme park in Anaheim, California reopened on Friday after shutting down for more than a year in the pandemic, and featured a significant overhaul of the classic Snow White ride. Previously focusing on the Wicked Queen and known as Snow White's Scary Journey, the updated ride takes a more light-hearted approach to the tale and features fresh animatronics and all-new scenes. Let's take a look at the video. We're here today in Snow White's Enchanted Wish attraction where we've made some major changes. What's so special about this attraction is actually Walt Disney's first major animated picture, as well as one of the original attractions in Fantasyland the day that Disneyland opened. We had a complete remodel of Fantasyland in the early 80s. At that time, they changed the name from Snow White's Adventures to Snow White's Scary Adventures, but it still told very much the same story, which was a scary story. We're finally giving Snow White the happily ever after that she deserves. We are putting the finishing touches on the attraction. The star of the show is Snow White. So we thought it would be really, really important to introduce her early on. So we have a new dancing Snow White character that actually now dances with Dopey. And the interaction between them as you move through the cottage is really kind of almost cinematic. We had a chance to really throw in a lot of spectacular magic in one scene in particular, and that is the dwarves' mine, where there are beautiful jewels everywhere, and you can see the dwarves actually at work in the mine. Of course, Dopey is kind of the rascal of the dwarves, and he's somehow gotten into the mine cart full of jewels and stuck a couple of them in his eyes. We took the opportunity this time to repaint all of the exterior in warmer pinks and gold colors and maybe a cheerier blue and made it feel happier. We are positive that the guests are going to be absolutely blown away by this dazzling new attraction and such a beautiful, sweet storyline. Disney has revamped their Snow White attraction and in their words made Snow White the star and lightened up the show for audiences. Apparently, critics are angry because the prince kisses Snow White without her consent. Do the SJWs know that in this story she is in a trance and will never wake up until she gets a kiss? In my opinion the SJWs probably prefer for her to stay asleep forever. This is a fantasy story, it showcases good versus evil, and it does teach lots of lessons. My final thoughts are that in the end, parents should ultimately teach their kids what is right from wrong and discuss anything they show their children. It isn't the responsibility of Disney to raise your kids and make all cartoons into a perfect SJW-approved work. Where is the outrage with shows like South Park? Those are my opinions, what are yours, leave them in the comments below. Please share this video for education and awareness. For the Dumb Dumb News Channel, I'm Dumb Dumb.